Hi and welcome to this week's Attic video. Today we'll look at the process that I use to install installation in an attic and also the machine and the machine components. Today I'm going to cover a 2,000 square foot house and a 800 square foot garage. Let's make sure that we have all of our protective equipment on. Do we have our knee pads? Yes, check. Do we have our mask? Yes, check. Do we have our gloves? And don't forget the frontal headlamp. Here is a nice mess of the truck because uh, the driveway was definitely uneven and pretty bumpy. Alright, let's grab our ladder and get into that attic. So the plan was for us to work from the front of the house and then the uh, homeowner is going to have his soffit guys work in the back. So I'll give you a quick walkthrough of the attic. So on this side, uh, you see the garage area that is again at R40 and then part of the house on the other side uh, you'll notice the massive cathedral that i'm gonna have to go over all right first thing that you want to do is you want to haul that hose all the way at the far end of the attic and then work your way back towards the attic hatch or in this case back towards the ladder so if you were to do this yourself the machine would definitely be a lot smaller than the one that you see here here um, the machine is uh, attached with a 4 inch hose, the typical uh, rented machine comes with a 2.5 inch hose. The remote I use for the controls to the machine is the on and off switch and uh, also the blower feeder so I basically um, tell the machine to give me material, we'll start blowing and then also to empty the hose once I'm done. I can also actually use the empty hose to correct any mistakes that I've done or blow out venting. So there's a view of the, I have a nice drop for you. So I chose the over the cathedral first because that's always the hardest part at the beginning of the job. It's, I always have the most energy so I pick the diff most difficult part first. Yes, some addicts are very easy to maneuver around but a lot of attics are also much more difficult. So you'll notice there I'm starting right at the soffit areas and then working my way backwards making sure that the soffit is not filled up with insulation to allow for the airflow. In some homes I have to install the more vents as well because some are missing and so that job is never easy especially if the drywall is installed already. Thank goodness for knee pads. I take my trusted stapler and put a couple staples in there to make sure that it holds in place. Alright, and as you can see here, I'm standing at a low profile making sure that the blowing is not compressing against the other blowing. I also make sure to match every truss and I stand parallel between the trusses, so the truss cavities, so that I can compare uh, between uh, two by fours to make sure that everything is level. Okay, so here I work my way back up above to the cathedral ceiling and then I'm also topping off a little bit of the cathedral ceiling just to make sure that uh, all the fill, uh, cracks are filled because for most cathedral ceilings, uh, you have sheets of insulation and between those sheets of insulation is that gap that can easily be filled with loose fill. Now remember this other side here uh, with the garage. So the uh, garage looks like this. It's the same process. I work as far as I can and then work my way back towards the ladder. The one difficult portion of this attic was 
part of the house was actually at a higher point and so just like you see here I have to build it up at a different level and make sure that it follows that 22 and a quarter inch depth even at this raised ceiling. So those are always the things to keep in mind and to also make sure that those exterior walls are properly insulated as well with loose fill. And this is the final product. Looks nice and even and uh, the soffit guys are working away so that uh, there's uh, no wind damage and that I don't have to come back and fix it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Next week we'll be looking at the machine that I used to empty the attic. Thank you.